Okay, this is, uh, as you should be able to see there, Chris Lasallo's response to Brian Denlinger's uh, comments, and they're going back and forward here. It's like uh, Alien versus Predator. I'll let you decide which one is Alien, which one's Predator, but I think that Chris really focuses on the anointing, which is great, but uh, kind of uses it, you know, as like, uh, you know, he's more powerful than everybody else type of thing, which is a bit immature. And then you've got Brian, who does focus on, um, you know, doctrine and things like that. And he uses that to sort of um, undermine a lot of people as well. So I think both of them are quite immature in that respect. But I think Brian, out of the two, you'd have to say that he's got, he's walked with the Lord long enough to be, to be a leader. I think that Chris, while I respect his passion in serving the Lord, is not ready to be a leader. In fact, we're meant to work with the fivefold ministry. We're meant to work with evangelists, pr prophets, pastors, um, you know, Bible teachers. Um, Chris doesn't put a lot of emphasis on Bible teaching, even though he does try to teach the Bible. But I've always said that, you know, whatever calling that we have, we should focus on it. You know, Brian is clearly more into Bible teaching. Chris is clearly more into... Um, deliverance ministry which I suppose you could put under evangelism in a way I think he's gone out and um, he's got a passion for serving the Lord but he's not he's not qualified enough to be a pastor yet I don't believe he's had enough experience walking with the Lord yet um, even though I mean I could go on but I think that you know let's just play this video and uh, see what's happening for the record I'm not big on the leg growing thing either. Well, if you look towards the right hand side of Chris to the left hand side of the screen, you'll begin to see some things here. It doesn't seem to be a... Right there. Now there's some lights that manifest around here. You see them actually manifesting one after the other. Now I've never seen an, an angel manifest like this, ever. I have seen angels in the, in the spiritual and uh, to my mind this is more a demonic manifestation. I wonder if Chris would agree with me about this. Real here. See there's a real flash there just a second ago. Hopefully the screen recorder is picking it up because I realise it's a little bit slow. To me, up here. Here. But here. I'm not 100% yeah. certain. I don't understand. So he's saying basically uh, about the leg growing ministry which has become a craze on YouTube. A lot of the charismatics are going out setting people down to grow their legs. Uh, Brian has rightfully made videos about it that this is an old uh, deceptive technique which uh, snake oil salesmen use. So Chris starts off by saying he agrees with Brian but then, then tries to insinuate that uh, it, it could be God, you know. so. I think while Brian is trying to blow the trumpet and warn people and get people off of following individuals, which I think is a, is good, you know, Chris is kind of saying, well, you know, it could be the Lord, you know, so I don't really want to rebuke them. But, you know, we've actually, I've, you know, we've actually found things out about Torben's new book, uh, which he's taken a lot of things from a minister's book a hundred years ago about the last reformation. So you've got to ask questions. I mean, it's all very well that um, certain things might match up, and it might it might not be deliberate. I don't know all the details, but um, you know, let's just play this and see more lights uh, manifest here over this corner. Understand why God would do something like that, but the Bible says he'll use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, so I wouldn't take the risk that this guy is taking and saying that... Risk? I mean, so, so they're trying to say that, say that uh, you know, through one another's difference in ministry and doctrine and so on, 
I mean, Chris once said that you can rebuke demons out of people using the name of the spaghetti monster if you're a real man of God. He's very weak on doctrine, you know. Anyhow. At its a work of hypnotism there or another. someone's oh, yeah. demons working through them. So just as he says act of hypnotism and somebody's demons working through them, we get some sort of manifestation. Um, let's play that one again. And saying that yeah. it's a work of hypnotism right there or someone's yeah. Yeah. demons working through them nonetheless it looks kind of odd I have to admit yeah so make up your mind Chris I mean if you're a watchman and you're in the tower and there's an army approaching and you pick up the the shofar or the trumpet and you just give it a short a burst but you're not you know nobody maybe you wake a couple of people up but you're actually not even blowing at 50 percent you see that's you can't you, there's no room for doubt in the kingdom of god uh chris so either you stand by uh torben 100 percent or you keep your mouth shut about torben so it's, it's, it's either or okay i've personally i've prayed for torben i, I usually give people the benefit of the doubt because i'm just like that but um I'd rather pray for someone than against someone, if you know what I'm saying, uh, as a Christian. So if they got really anything to offer the body of Christ, then the Lord knows that, if there's something on offer there. But I think Brian's very, very right in saying that you should be careful in following individuals. It's very, very important. We don't want to end up like following a Jim Jones, you know what I mean? And so... Uh, and I don't want to be grouped in with the people that are growing out legs because I don't grow out legs. That's a fair comment. I mean, uh, he's distancing himself from these ministries. I've never seen Chris pray for anyone growing out legs. And he does make a very good point about the gift of tongues, that it's uh, written in Scripture. There's tongues of men and tongues of angels. It makes that distinction. It's also written in the book of Enoch about um, tongues of fire being around the very throne room of God that you can't even enter into God's presence except that you can speak in the heavenly tongues which is a pure dialect you know the language that we speak is uh, you know the prophet Isaiah said I'm a man of unclean lips so he clearly experienced I believe the prophet Isaiah could speak in tongues I believe the prophet Enoch could speak in tongues because they had an experience about they were in the throne room of the Lord of of, 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 of the Yote Vafe you see of Yahweh, so I'm not a Pharisee, I can speak the name of the Father. Um, so I don't think he's old enough, mature enough, um, got godly knowledge enough to be a leader and uh, correctly show discernment about um, what people are teaching. You know, it's more about the hits, the number of hits people get in their videos, and that's how immature people like Chris, and I'm not saying Brian is immature in that level, but I think that we've all got room to grow as Christians and uh, you know that's my uh, two cents worth you know um, about what's going on here but let's pray for them both and uh, hallelujah let's, let's just pray for them both because they seem to be going at it here so let's pray that something good comes out of it for them both Shalom <laughs>